welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, you guys have been requesting this a lot and I've been really excited to do a video like this and been wanting to do it for a while. And it's a what's on my iPhone slash kind of like showing you my iOS home screen because I took a lot of time on my iOS 14 home screen and I really, really love it. So I wanted to show you guys that. But before I start showing you what is on my iPhone, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave a comment down below requesting any videos that you guys might wanna see because I am making these videos for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna support me and enjoy the videos that I create. Also, if you wanna get notified for every single time that I post a video, don't forget to turn on that bell. So I have the iPhone 11 in the mint green color. I call it mint green. On the website it just says green, but I think it's mint green. And I have this plain phone case that I got from Shein. It's just clear with like this diamond pattern on it. And the sides are like white and clear. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's It was super cheap. It was like $2, I think. But yes, this is my phone that I have. I've had it for a year now. And I just redid my iOS 14 home screen the other night. And I'm super, super in love with it right now, so I'm super excited to show you guys. I'm gonna start screen recording my phone and I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. And I will start showing you what's on my iPhone. So I'm gonna move over here, that way I can put my phone screen recording up on the screen here. So there is my home screen. I went for a cottage core vibe for my phone. So my wallpaper is mushrooms. Um, I just thought it looked really cute. So opening up my phone, this is what my home screen looks like. I love it so, so much. Um, all the little app icons I did are from Pinterest. I found them on there and I just used them from that. So shout out to whoever made these. They're really cute. And that was just my overall vibe for my phone right now. I love how it looks. But before I get into all of that, I'm going to start over on the side here, which is my like widget sidebar area. The first widget I have is Spotify. And I love that Spotify finally did a widget. I love it so much. Um, obviously the last song I was listening to was Trainwreck. So I was in a mood, but I love that Spotify did a widget. And I think that, I think that that is so cool that Spotify did a widget. The next widget that I have is just my battery percentage for my phone and my Apple Watch. The next widget that I have is just my email. I'm not gonna open that because that's personal. My next widget is a notes widget. That way I can just pop into my YouTube video idea, like note section in case I ever get an idea for a video really quick it's easy access and I can just really quickly write it down. And then the last widget I have is called Shop. It's an app where you can put in your, um, what's English? It's an app where when you order something, you can put it in and it'll track the order for you and it'll notify you when it's like moving and whatnot and when it delivers and stuff like that. That is all of my widget stuff. Now I will move back onto my home screen. So on my home screen, I have this app called Color Widgets. That's my first widget that I'm going to talk about. And it's where you can customize a widget to put on your screen. So the one that I did was just the date, the day, and it has my battery percentage. So I just customized it to be the color that would match my home screen and I made it like a small widget So it fit there and I love how it looks. It just goes really nicely with the whole phone So going over to the apps I have the photos app, which is your basic photos app Everyone has the photos app. You know what it is. The next app is the camera app Also another basic app that everyone knows about and that everyone has um, Also the reason why you'll see like a little thing called shortcuts pop up at the top every time I go into an app is because the little um um, app icons that I have instead of the actual app logo. I had to do it through the shortcuts app that comes on the phone. So um, that pops up because I went through shortcuts to do the little cute icons on the outside. So every time I go into an app, you'll see that pop up at the top. That's what that is if you see that. Just letting you know. The next app is Mail. I'm not gonna go into that because that is my personal email. The next app is Safari. Everyone knows what Safari is. It's just your basic internet browser. Um, the next app is Wallet. That's my Apple Wallet, my Apple Card, all that stuff. Settings. Everyone knows what settings is. It's basic. This, these are the basic apps that everyone has on their phone. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this photo widget app. So you can 
put photos into an album and then put it on your home screen as a widget and then they just like rotate through the different photos. Every like couple minutes you can change it to be however long you'd want. I think mine are like every five minutes maybe. So the first one I have is just like some nature cottagecore photos and then the other one I have underneath it are some like Animal Crossing cottagecore vibey photos. I think they're really cute. They're just cartoony and adorable and I love Animal Crossing. As you can tell by my last video, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. So going back into my apps, I have the app store, which everyone has just your app store where you download your apps. Again, going back to Spotify is the next app. We love Spotify. If you wanna go check out my playlists, they're public, so you can definitely go check them out. Here's all the playlists that I have. The next app that I have is the YouTube app, so shout out YouTube. Here's what I watch, here's my channel, so shout out to, uh, to me. Go, go subscribe please anyways that's that's that you guys know what youtube is obviously you're here watching it right now the next app that i have is snapchat oh that's me hi <laughs> that's such a such an unflattering angle so we're gonna get out of that so that's snapchat you guys all probably know what snapchat is if you don't have snapchat what are you doing come on snapchat is awesome uh next is tiktok tiktok is amazing go follow my tiktok i try to post a little bit i don't post that often i try i try to post like funny videos but i also post like some dancing videos i just have fun on my tiktok so go follow if you want to also my next app is my instagram so go follow me there also if you want i really don't post that much i really don't honestly take that many instagram photos i don't have many photos to post at all so that's why i don't really post a lot especially right now during like the coronavirus I, I don't really go out so i don't really take photos anywhere i don't really have anything to post but if you want to go follow me there you can uh and then i have the basic you know phone calling app like the phone app the facetime app the messaging app those things are all there at the bottom the next widget that i want to talk about is called widget smith it's super super great i love this first widget here um it's my to-do list so you go into the reminders app and you make a to-do list on there and then you can put it into widget smith and you can just go in like this and you can add a widget so i'll add or not a widget, you can add something that you have to do. So like, I have to edit this video, so I'll put, oh, that's not even how you spell it. I'll put edit iPhone video, and then I can go ahead and check off film the video, because that's what I'm doing right now. And see, there you go. Now, there it is on my phone, and I can see that whenever I go to my phone, and I'll remember to do it. So I literally love that so much. That has helped me a lot in remembering to do things. I have a really bad memory. So I'll just keep going with the widgets first. I have another photo widget thing. So I have an album that's just full of like cottagecore collage photos I think are really, really cute. The next widget I have is another Widget Smith one, which is super, super cool too. It's a calendar. So I love that I can just go on my phone and automatically see what I'm doing that day or the, day, the next day. So you can just go in the same as like the reminders one. And you go to calendar and you just add in what you have to do that day or whenever and then it'll just pop up on your phone so i think that's super awesome and it's really nice to just have it there all the time and the next one as you can see is a countdown um used in the color widgets app so this is what it looks like here and i just did snow white's cottage because i'm going to disney world soon so you can see how many days stay tuned for those videos so get excited yeah so that's super cool i went with snow white's cottage because it kind of goes with the vibes of my phone i think that's super cool to be able to have the countdown on my screen so going back to the apps i have um, an app called jw library which i use for my religion um it's just where we have our bible and our study publications and everything that we use the next app that i have is pinterest we all love Pinterest. I use Pinterest for literally everything. Pinterest is just the best. I use it for outfit inspo, recipes, wallpapers. I mean, I just, everything, hair inspiration. It's just, Pinterest is literally the best thing ever. So that's Pinterest. The next app I have is Among Us, which is such a fun game. I haven't played it in a little while just because I knew there was something going on with like a hacking or whatever was going on with it. So yeah, I haven't really played it in a while, but I want to play it again. It's so much fun. The next app I have is TubeBuddy and that's what I use to see my views that I'm getting, my subscriber count, just all my information for my videos. 
So that's something that I use a lot actually. The next app that I have is my Amazon app. Self-explanatory, I just buy stuff on Amazon. The next app that I have is Etsy. Also, you know, the same as like Amazon, you just buy stuff from Etsy. I love Etsy, I actually use Etsy quite a bit. Actually, I, I don't buy from Etsy that often, but I'm always looking on Etsy just because Etsy takes a long time to ship and stuff, but I love just looking on there and wishing that I could have everything because everything's so cute. The next thing I have, I'm not gonna go into it just because it's my security camera system, but it's my Ring app just for my security camera for my house. We have the Disney Experience app is the next one and I'm not signed in, but this is just the app that will show me my hotel reservations and all of my fast passes and stuff for Disney. This is the app that you use pretty much everything at Disney. So if you're going to Disney, definitely download this app. It also shows you all the wait times and the park hours and stuff like that. And that's it for my home screen. Now I'm gonna go over into my app library. This is where I keep everything else that I don't really use on a daily basis. So we'll go into this first just kind of section. This is recently added. I have a water reminder app that I do have a reminder set for me. I think it's like every, what is this? <laughs> An ad. It's set for like every like hour maybe or something to remind me to drink water because I'm really bad at remembering to drink water. It's awful. So that just reminds me. We have a lifetime app. I love watching Dance Moms. So <laughs> as you can see, I was watching Dance Moms. So that's what I use that for. I also have... The Sephora app, which just shop for makeup. That's all that's for. I have the Apple TV app. I've actually never used it, but I got it free for a year because I bought an iPad. Never used it, so I don't. I don't know. Um, I have WatchSmith. It's an app that you use for your Apple Watch to kind of customize it, kind of like the um, Widget Smith app that I use on my phone for my widgets, but I don't really like it that much to be honest. It's okay. The next one is this. I just have Facebook, which I'm not gonna go on to because um, it's a private account. I have, I already showed FaceTime message, phone and everything, Facebook Messenger, uh, my Instagram I've already shown, Snapchat, TikTok. I have Tumblr, I don't ever use it. I just have had it for like ever. Amazon, we already showed that. App Store, or not App Store, Apple Store, if I ever wanna order something for my electronics, I have the app for it. Um, Depop, I don't really use Depop that much anymore. I tried selling on there once. Nobody, nobody bought the thing I was selling, so yeah. And I've never bought anything from there, but I always look at stuff on there because everything's really cute. Um, I have this app called Doge. I think it's Doge, but you just get cash back for using your card. So like I got cash back there. Uh, Etsy already showed Honey is a, do you say coupon or coupon? I say coupon, but it's just a coupon app and you can use it to copy coupon codes and use them on websites to save money. Uh, Shein, I love Shein. I'm always on Shein. I love Shein so much. I want to do another order soon. So maybe y'all will see a haul from that. Don't know. We'll see. Um, Shop is the app I told you guys about where you can put in things that you've ordered and then it'll track your orders for you and whatnot. Shop kicks I use to get points that way I can get gift cards and stuff You just scan things at stores like that. I just got 10 shop kicks So once you get a certain amount like here, I have 10,000 kicks right now 5,000 kicks and I can get $25 from Apple. So I use that. I love shop kicks I think everyone needs to uh, try it because it's super easy You just go into stores and you can get kicks for walking into the store So something really nice to use. I have the Starbucks app just to use whenever I go to Starbucks Target to shop on Target Ulta to shop on Ulta. I have the calendar app that comes on the phone I have my cash app I literally don't use Cash App. I think I had to use it once for something and um, I haven't used it since. So I just still have it for no reason. Uh, I have the contacts app that comes on your phone. I have this app called Cozy. We used to use a lot between me and my parents. Um, my dad used to travel a lot for work, not right now because of COVID, but he would like write down where he was gonna be going and when, and so that way we could all know. And we'd also put down um, like groceries that we would need all together and then it was really cool to use. We haven't used it a lot because we've been together. Um, I have a day count app that I just use to count down on trips and stuff. My FNM bank app, we're not gonna go into that obviously. Uh, the files app I don't use, I just kinda left it on the phone. Gmail app I don't use, it's just still on there. 
the notes app we already talked about photo widgets we talked about reminders i only use for that to-do list the shortcuts app is for the app icons uh watchsmith and widgetsmith are for the little customizations uh yahoo mail we've already talked about that too calculator standard clock standard find my iphone can't get rid of that uh voice memos i I had that on my phone because I, I used to use my phone to record the audio for my videos. I don't do that anymore because I have a, a mic. So that's why that's on there. Um, and the watch app because I do have an Apple watch. So that's why that I have that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Dispose. Um, I used to use it. It's like a disposable camera. Take a photo. Anyways, it's just a disposable camera. I think it's by David Dobrik or something. And you can't look at the photo until like the next day or something. So Facetune and Facetune 2. I use those for my um, makeup photos to just brighten up the eyeshadow because whenever you take a photo of your makeup, it dulls the eyeshadow a lot. So that's what I use Facetune for. Huji is like the same, a disposable camera app. Um, Imaging Edge, I think that was to use for my camera to get photos transferred onto my phone. Don't really like it, doesn't really work very well that now I just go through like my iPad and do it that way. Lightroom, I used to edit all of my photos. I love Lightroom so much and I bought some presets from Aspen Ovard which are really really pretty and I love using those. Uh we already talked about photos, too buddy. Visco, I love Visco so much. Visco is amazing. I use that to edit some of my photos too. And then we have YouTube Studio which basically just shows all of your information for your videos. Going over to this one, I have Disney Plus, Hulu, those are all of my favorite uh, apps to watch movies on and stuff. Uh, we have Apple Music. I don't have an Apple Music account, so I don't pay for Apple Music, but I have the app because I did like a free trial for a little while. I still like Spotify better, but you know, I still have the app just in case I ever wanna pay for it. Um, then I have Netflix, which I love obviously. Nintendo Switch Online account because I have a Nintendo Switch. I have a Google Home app because I have a Google Home. Uh, we have Maps, which is standard that comes on your phone. Google, not Google Translate. This is Apple Translate. Apple did a Translate app. Uh, I got the Weather Channel. This is a motivation app. So this is an app that you can use um, for widgets. So you can put like a quotes widget on your screen and then it'll just like do different quotes every once in a while. It's really cute. I didn't do it this time because none of the um, backgrounds went with what I was going for. We have the health app and the activity app for your Apple Watch. And then I have a charades app, which is a fun game to play with friends and family. And that is everything on my iPhone. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I thought this was really fun. I love showing you guys my phone. If I ever do another iOS home screen thing, which I do a lot, I honestly am changing up my home screen all the time. So if I ever do another one, if you guys would be interested in watching that, let me know. I would definitely be down to making another video like this with a different home screen. I'll have the same apps, but I'll have a different home screen vibe. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh.